Hey guys, my name is Notch, and welcome back to the the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't know why I struggled with that one, but anyway, last time we listened to the King's Tale of how Hyrule became what it is now, barren wasteland because of the Calamity Ganon. And now, it is time to go over to that mountain over there, the Dueling Peaks. We need to head over to Kakariko Village. So, paraglider! Woo! Okay, paraglider. Uh, it takes up stamina as well, so when you run out of stamina in the air, let's just say you're in for a world of hurt. Yeah, it is not fun, I can tell you that. But you can just let go, let go, uh, and keep going, just to safely get back onto land. So, <laughs> I can't wait to get into the many deaths when it comes to this thing. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, there's a tower over there, but honestly, I really want to make it over the Kakariko Village. Now, I can't remember if it was Kakariko Village or another village in this game that has a certain, uh, certain house. Now, we'll get into that when we get there. It's just, it's one of my favorite things to do. Do, 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 no. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. With one jump, we're officially going to in uncharted territory to Hyrule. There's no going back now until I get until I just until I do this travel back. But no, now we have nothing here. So real quick, those uh, those EX chest uh, chests we got, how we got the the Nintendo Switch shirt and all that. Uh, that is because I have the expansion, uh, DLC expansion for this game. And they included three bonus chests, uh, in the Great Plateau. One of them, of course, is the Switch shirt. The other one was... what was it again? Ah, yes, it was a ruby. You can get, you can get a ruby, uh, very early in the game if you have that expansion. And the other one, uh, is a set of, uh, bomb arrows. And where the bomb arrows are... It is actually right behind, right behind the Cryon, Cryonis Trial. I didn't know that was there. I had a look at, I was like, wait, how come I got these things and there's only like two of them? Like, I don't understand. But anyway, just in case if you wanted it, if you already have the expansion and you wanted to get a few extra bomb arrows, uh, go behind that trial and it's right there. Now, how far is it? Holy crap, we are... This is going to be one hell of a journey. Now, I don't remember, I can't remember if it's, ooh. I will gladly take, do I have enough items, space? Ah, I'm not going to have use for the uh, Korok uh, leaf at the moment. In some parts I will, it's just not at the moment. Rusty Claymore, a two-handed sword not properly cared for. Although it can be used as a weapon, its durability is low. Don't expect it to last more than a few strikes. Well, darn. Uh, ding dong da- ooh. A hello there, tower. Are you, gonna, are you the tower for this region? I'm pretty sure it is. <gasps> Let's go! Paraglider, I love this. I love the paraglider. It, it, it just makes traveling high. Ooh, hi! Cool! There's something over there that I probably want to get. Um, while exploring more of uh, Hyrule. Of course, there's going to be more than uh, more than four uh, more, more than four shrines. That is what I meant to say. So I want to go and, and complete this one. Onward! It, no, 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 no! Hey, hey, oh, 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 up we go. Woo! Aha! I see something, and I want to try it. Because I I screwed up before. Now, we got multiple rocks here, so we can do this uh, in a few attempts. Let's see how there is a circle right there! Son of a... Okay, we go closer. Hua! Yeah! Hey, little guy! Yeah. Yaha! You found me! That's a Korok! Huh? You're not Hetsu. But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. <laughs> well, if you run into Hetsu, please return this to him. We got a Korok seed! 
This small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you'll never know what may happen. Now, notice how it says it has a distinct smell. And then look in the image. That's not a seed. That's his shit. <laughs> He's handing us his poo. Oh, and oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of places, too, in different places too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. So yes, these little guys, these little the, the children of the forest. Those are Koroks. They can be found all over Hyrule in very different places, and they're in hiding spots, so you have to flush them out. If you find them, they'll reward you with a Korok Seed. I won't get into much about the Korok Seed at the moment, because we need to find this so so-called Hetsu about that. But, there was uh, that, that ring of flowers in that water. I'm pretty sure that is a Korok spot. But, I just kept screwing up. So, yeah, it was fun! But yeah, Koroks are very, very important if you want to go for 100% in this game. Because, in total, I'm pretty sure... There's 999 Korok Seeds to find. 999! Yeah, it's crazy. Who sets foot in the shrine? I am Bosch Kala. In the name, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. The wind guides you. Okay. I think this one's very straightforward. Now we got the paraglider. Yeah! The power of the wind. What do I have here? Amber! Pretty cool. I don't care about that quite yet. Now, here's where things get a little bit tricky, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, actually, no, hang on. <laughs> Hobbity! Woo! Whoa! Oh, sh no, no! I did that way too early. <laughs> well, darn. Don't worry, uh, when falling into, like, a pit like that, it only t just takes a heart. It doesn't instant ki instantly kill you. So it's all good. Now, this one... I can't remember if I have to change the trajectory. Maybe I do... Wait. Oh, that's to go back. Oh, maybe it is just go with the flow. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Woo! How you doing? Give me that orb. Give me that sweet, sweet orb. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, okay, let's get this real quick. Okay, yeah, I want to skip this. Yes, I know. Your resourcefulness is one to be proud of, I guess. Woo! May the goddess smile upon you. Thank you, you decrepit old skeleton. Bedtime! Nighty night. Sleeping in bed allows you to sleep until morning, noon, or night. It also replenishes your hearts. Burning things! <laughs> Dry grass catches fire e especially easily, and that fire spreads quickly. Stamina wheel, blah, 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 yes. Okay, hang on. When we get out of this, uh, this shrine, I'm gonna go get something. Now that we actually can do this... It... Yeah, strange mass rumors. Huh? Oh, that's right! It's at Xenoblade Chronicles 2! Wow! How long has that been? I remember when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 came out and this uh, special side quest came out. Not that I haven't even completed this one on my main file. But yes, uh, we got a whole assortment of side quests. So, these can be, uh, these can be found at different areas in Hyrule. Now, these, now these treasures are armor sets. I could, um, you know what, when we get to there, like, uh, this is way too early to be finding stuff like this, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. I, okay, cool. Um, I'll be right back. Now that we have the paraglider and, uh, listen to the king about his tail, there's something now that's, uh, uh, accessible to us, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, now that we have the paraglider, what you gotta do is, you gotta go into your system, go to options, and turn on amiibos. There we go. And you can now use the amiibo rune with the Sheikah Slate. You can now, you can change the setting on the options anytime. So this was the other rune I was uh, I was mentioning. This is the secret one that you can get if you have, uh, if you got amiibo support. Uh, well, it is supported by with amiibo. 
But anyway, the, the amiibo rune is very, very helpful. What you're going to do is, you're going to press the R button, or left button, and it will come up with this icon right here. Then you take your Zelda amiibos, like anything ranging from the Smash, uh, Smash Brothers Zelda characters, to the anniversary uh, Zelda amiibos, and the Breath of the Wild amiibos, of course. So I'm going to use the Ganondorf. And check it out! It gives us a whole bunch of goodies! Opal! Cool! Cool! <laughs> Screw you! Uh, hey! Blue rupees! Hey! I finally got money! And you know what? To make this a lot easier... hoo <laughs> Pretty cool! Green rupee! Okay, green rupees equals, uh, equals one. Uh, the red, uh, the blue equals five, and I think the red equals fifteen. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's try this one. I got my Zelda Breath of the Wild one right here. Cool. We got some materials right here. Hyrule herb. Cool. Saplina. Cool. And we got a treasure chest right here. Soldier's shield. Durability up. Damn it. Okay, what do I want to get rid of for that? I got an extra one of this, I can just drop it. I like how Link kicks the chest open, like, work, damn it! Uh, yeah, we'll go back to this shield. Uh, what else do I have? I got the, uh, I got Link, Link, the, Link the Smash me, but... Ah! Epona! Yo, you are so gorgeous in this game! And the Zelda, oh, I'm sorry, Epona! I'm sorry! <laughs> Swift carry. Yeah, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, Epona, don't run away! Okay, Epona! One of the best horses in this game! It's a. Ah, oh, damn it. So, yeah, scanning the Link amiibo from Smash gives you Epona. It, uh, all, sort, uh, all assortment of um, amiibos can give uh, different things. Uh, the Tears of the Kingdom amiibos do not work in this game, but the Breath of the Wild ones uh, in Tears of the Kingdom do work. So, now that we have a opponent, it's going to be make traveling Hyrule a lot easier, and I'm going to be very thankful for it. So, when it comes to riding horses, you can hold down on the left stick to stop them from moving, press L to soothe them. Now, when it comes to wild horses, soothing, soothing them makes them easier to tame. But with Epona, she's already tamed. Uh, you can press the A button to make them go faster. Press it again to make them run. Press them again to make them do an entirely cool sprint. So, traveling Hyrule at... Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, oh, another Korok area. Okay, new enemy over there. That right there, though, that big little, that big little, that big troll thing, that's known as a moblin. They're much stronger than bokoblins. Yeah, hang on, let me just fight this guy. Yeet! Yeah. Hey, yo, boom! And a boom! Right in the crotch! And he's dead. There, moblin fang. Moblin horn! Cool, and another Mubblin Pang. And we got a Spike Club. I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, wait, we got... I got enough. Mubblin Club, cool. Epona, I'm coming back. My beautiful horse. I'll put up on screen of all of the Amiibo... Uh, all of the Amiibos that are, are supported in this game. Just so you know if you're like... Uh, if you're not too sure about that or... You'd be like, oh, I got this Amiibo. Like, I don't know if it works or not. So, there you go. Instead of just putting an entire list here, I'm just going to go through each of the amiibos that you can get and put a picture up on screen of what they look like. So starting off, uh, I was wrong about the Tears of the Kingdom amiibos, but uh, only just one. It's only Link for Tears of the Kingdom and the Young Link uh, Smash amiibo that can be used in this game. They can drop a chest that can contain uh, clothing for the Twilight Princess set. The next, uh, for the items, they, they drop fish and other. It's a one-time summon for, opponent, for Epona. Next one is for the Smash Brothers Link. It is a possible drop for a Twilight Princess clothing in a chest. 
useful items, it is food, and the other, it is a one-time summon for Epona. Uh, Zelda for Super Smash Bros. She can drop uh, in chess with, for shields and possible drop of, a t of the Twilight Bow, a very, very strong bow. And the next one for items is plants uh, and all that. We've seen that and there, there's no other ones. Next one is the Toon Link from Super Smash Brothers. You can get the in chest the Wind Waker armor or a boomerang. Or for items, you can get fish. For Sheik, uh, pretty sure Sheik, yeah, Smash Brothers Sheik, uh, you can get a rare weapon at a possible drop of Sheik's mask armor. And for the items, it's cook, uh, anything to do with cooking or crafting. Next one is the Ganondorf Smash Amiibo. Weapons or possible drops of the Sword of the Six Sages. For items, it is the cooking or crafting material. Next one is the Guardian. So the Guardian can drop only Guardian materials and that's it. Next one is the Link Archer and it can only drop a rare bow. Next one is the Link Rider. It can drop in chess uh, weapons or a possible drop of the tr uh, drop of the Traveler's Brittle or travel Traveler's Saddle. The next one is a very unique one, Wolf Link. Well, it, you can actually summon Wolf Link and it'll have its own hearts. Uh, by that, it will. It I'm pretty sure it'll be displayed next to uh, uh, underneath the heart. I don't really. I don't have Wolf Link, but I. I've seen videos about that. Uh, when L Wolf Link takes uh, too much damage, he'll, he'll disappear. The next one is the 8-bit Link. A possible drop of the 8-bit Link clothing uh, and the a sword. The next one is the items and it just drops barrels. Next time we got Zelda Wind Waker. For chess, uh, it drops shields with a rare chance of dropping the hero shield. And for items, it is just plants. For Toon Link, for Wind Waker, not Smash, for Wind Waker, it's the Wind Waker armor set or a boomerang. For items, it is a fish. For Link, of, for Ocarina of Time, it's a possible drop of the Ocarina of Time clothing or the Bigoron sword. And for the items, it's just meat. Zelda, Breath of the Wild, she will drop sh shields and chests and, uh, and items which are plants. Next one, the Bokoblin, only drops Bokoblin weapons. Link for Majora's Mask will drop a possible drop of the Fierce Deity Clothing and the Double Helix Sword. For items, it's just meat. Link for the Twilight Princess will, dro will have a pos possible drop of the Twilight Princess Clothing, meat, and a one-time summon of Epona. Link for Skyward Sword will have a possible drop of the Skyward Sword Clothing and the Goddess Sword. For the items, it's just meat. And now, for the, ch uh, for the champions. We haven't seen the champions quite yet, but here they are. For Mifa, the Zora champion, she will get a, get a possible drop of giving you the Varuta mask. We haven't seen that quite yet. It's, we're still way too early. And for items, it's uh, fish and spears. Orbosa, the Gerudo champion, possible drop of the Naboros mask. And possible drop of meat, swords, and shields. Ravali, the Rito champion, has a possible drop of dropping the Var Med, uh, Mido mask and fruit and bows. And finally, the Daruk Goron champion, possible drop of the Var Rudani mask with ore and two handed swords. So, yeah. Uh, no other Tears of the Kingdom ones like the Tears of the Kingdom Zelda or Ganondorf will work, only the Tears of the Kingdom Link. So, hope you all enjoyed that one, man. On with the video! And there's a Bokoblin camp over there. I am not going to worry about that because I see a shrine up ahead. Now, there will be, there will be an area where you can leave your horse in and I... Well, speak of the devil! Hey! Wow, that's kind of cool that I was going to mention it, and here it is! So this right here, this is a horse stable. Riverside stable. Now, honestly, I want to put Epona, uh, I want to get Epona registered so I can call her out whenever I want. So, oh. let's talk. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related, and we also double as an inn. Huh? I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? Ah, uh, no sir, I do not. Mm. 
Then allow me to explain. You can board our horse companions with us, and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may also have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here, you to you ride it here to register it. It will become one of your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses, and you'll be able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know how to catch wild horses? Catching horses. Oh. Okay, to catch a wild horse, all you have to do is approach it from behind slowly and then get kicked in the face by the gigantic ass legs. Slowly so it doesn't notice you. And then hop on. But these are wild animals we're talking about, so if the horse you're riding starts to act up, try soothing it. It will eventually settle down, and when that happens, bring it to me. Mm. It may take a while for wild horses to get used to being ridden. They may change directions or slow down on their own until you earn their trust and respect. If your horse disobeys your direction, you'll want to gently redirect it and then calm it. If you, if you continue interacting that way, your horse will naturally begin to trust you and become more obedient. Oh. That's all I can tell you about the subject, stranger. Yeah. Welcome to our stable. If you come if you come with a wild horse, there, let's register it. Or we can rest here. I want to register Epona. Gotcha. Mm. So, look at that. Epona has got the best horse stats in the entire game. We got a max bond, four strength, four speed, and four stamina, and, and it needs gentle. Not a problem. We, we charge registration fee to help support our conversation efforts. Uh, wait, how much? <sighs> no. I am broke. Oh, wait, 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 Beetle! 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 Come here, Beetle! Beetle! Hey. Beetle! Hey. hey, it's Beetle! <laughs> Beetle was a character, he's a character that was, I'm pretty sure he was introduced in Wind Waker. This guy is a traveling merchant, so he always shows up around uh, these horse stables, so when you see him, make sure to say hi to him and check out his stock. Hey, I don't believe I made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me. Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But if you ever forget my face, you can remember my, my Beetle-shaped backpack. Wait, what? Oh, that's cool. I never really noticed that. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must, ha and must have items for travelers. I always charge a fair price or my name's not Beetle. <laughs> I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in, if you're in need of rupees, gemstones in, in particular fetch a high price. Ah. How can I help? Look what I got. Oh. Which, what would you like to sell? All right, cool. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Rupee, rubies, two hundred and ten rupees. <laughs> That's pretty good. I want to sell that. High price. Uh, me use as a component for in de decorations. I don't care about decorations. So, I'm just gonna sell them. There we go. <laughs> Pretty good. I wanna hang on to this. I mean, I haven't mentioned this, but you can you can get these ancient springs and gears from destroying, uh, what was it, the, the Guardians. And Opal. I don't care if it contains the power of water. It contains the power of money! I love selling things. Alright, thanks, Beetle. And let's just have a look at what you got at the moment. So, arrows, thunderwing butterfly, electric darner, ty uh, tireless frog. I think, I think I might actually buy some arrows off here. How much is the wow. arrows? 120. I'll take it. And I'll buy a bundle. Cool! Now I'm stocked. Alright, thanks, Beetle. Uh, where's my horse? <laughs> She's waiting there. Thank you, Epona. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, cool. Let's get back on you. And let's talk to you again. Alright, I'm rich now. I can actually register my horse now. Uh, register horse. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I'll register this one. We charge a registration fee to help. Yes, I know. Saddle and brittle for your horse. Oh. Here's 20 rupees. Thank you. Please enter the... Uh. Wait a minute. Isn't this Epona? The horse of legend? Hmm. What are you thinking? You can't rename a horse of legend. Pretty sure that's a that's a law against that. So, Epona it is. Yeah. 
Cool. You cannot change your opponent's name. So, I'm gonna board the horse. I'm gonna put her away. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Actually, is it a dude? Is it a boy horse? I'm not too sure. Ah, yeah. But your horse isn't magic. You can't hear if you're too far away, so keep in mind. So, uh, down on the D-pad. That whistle right there calls your horse to you. It won't work if they're far away. Uh, yeah, we can keep going. Let's keep going. We got a shrine right here. Uh, every single horse stable has at least one shrine next to it, so it can act as a quick, uh, quick travel point to get to those stables. It's it's actually very nice that they did that. I I actually like that a whole lot. All right, let's do this trial right here. And after this recording, I'm gonna need to put my amiibos away. I, I got them all uh, lined up on a shelf. Uh, in uh, smash in smash order, so it goes from 64 melee brawl uh, smash four then ultimate, and they're also in in categories as well. So Mario, Luigi, and then we have even though Doctor Mario wasn't in Smash 64, he was in melee, so I put him with the Mario Brothers and so on and so on. Metal connections. Okay, how does one do this one? Now, I just want to, I just want to say, there will be a lot of, oh, oh, okay. There will be shrines uh, in this game that I have no clue on how to do, because I haven't really, wait, can I climb this? Hang on, real quick, can I, can I, oh my god, I can climb it. I'm not too sure if I actually completed this trial, uh, this trial right here. But, we'll give it a crack. Now, it... We do need to go over there. If this was Tears of the Kingdom, I could cheese it. We're using a unique item. Or a unique ability, I should say. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to do this. And then we'll bring, we'll bring this over. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Bring it over. Oh, it's getting a bit hot in here. Woo! Um, yeah. Go up here. And get that thing down. Can I make it? Damn it. Ah, poo. Big climb. Thank you, Link. Get this down. Bring it here. And now... It is time for us to start making a staircase? If the way is not a complete asshole, I guess I can do that. Oh, this might need to be a little bit closer. Thinky, thinky, think! Oh, my brain is hurting from all this thinking! Uh, yeah, that will do right there. I reckon this is how you do it. Are you in a Damn, how do you even do this? My guess is that you do this. It'll make like a staircase of some sort. Yeah, but there's gonna be three of them up there. No. Cooperate. <laughs> and now we bring you up. No! I know there's a way for it to. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Hang on, I think I've done it. Ah! Oh my god, I think I've done it. Oh, come on, please work. Oh no. Hang on, okay, we're gonna move it out of the way a little bit. Oh boy, please don't fall. Fuck. 
Okay, cool. Cool. Stay. Stay right there. Stay. Stay. Stay right there. Ooh. Yeah! I'm smart! Woo! Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, very, very cool. I shall gladly take it. Ring -de 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 -de. I shall gladly take the spirit orb. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Paraglider, cool. It, yes, it does do that. Monitor the stamina so you don't run out mid-flight. <laughs> Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's just Link falling to his death. He's plummeting. That's the hero of the wild, everyone. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so he did say go north. Uh, so it's in that direction. Cool. So the Dueling Peaks, that must be over there. Yeah, that's right over there. But you know what? I think this is a great place to end things off right here. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we're going to make our way over to Kakariko Village once again. And hopefully we fill up the map here because we're going to need it. So, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this, and I hope you all will have a good one.